back, everybody, to another Blue Jays Today Minute Monologue. In this one, the Toronto Blue Jays beat the Boston Red Sox 6-1. to one. There's a lot to talk about with the offense, with the pitching, and a potential injury concern. Let's get into it. Starting off with the offense, it was a good day for the boys in blue. Ramiel Tapia hitting his first homer as a Blue Jay. That got the offense rolling in a five-run second inning. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. also got three walks today. His slugging is up to 674 and an on-base of 388. So very good at-bats in the early going from Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And other guys with hits. We got Kirk with a two-hit game and Guriel with a two-hit game as well. The guy who we got all of these hits off was Nick Pavetta, the Canadian, who had his third outing of the season, and it did not look good. Four innings pitch, seven hits, five earned runs, and four walks. Now for the Blue Jays starting pitcher, a good sign to see Jose Barrios going six complete innings, giving up eight hits and a walk. That's a lot of base runners, but not a lot of damage, only giving up one earned run, and hey, sprinkle in six strikeouts while you're at it. I'm very happy about this. Jose Barrios, a lot of people were worried, thinking that he'd be a bust. Guys, it's so early. We literally felt like we were still in spring training, like, Two weeks ago, he's going to be fine, and this is why we signed him to his seven-year extension. And hey, the Boston Red Sox put up a good fight. They got 10 hits to the Blue Jays' nine hits, and we beat them 6-1. to one. So we obviously, when we were being threatened defensively and the pitching, we shut them down. So that's a good note for the Toronto Blue Jays. Now, I definitely got to talk about the injury concern, and that is George Springer. He left the game after getting hit in the right forearm, and he's been diagnosed with a right forearm contusion, a.k.a. a bruise. He got his x-ray done. It came back negative. Now, I don't know if he'll be in the lineup tomorrow. It's a day game, so I don't know if they're going to rush him back that quick. But I wouldn't be concerned. And hey, look, I'm not a doctor, but I'm not concerned. It's a bruise. He seemed fine. They took him out, put Bradley Simmer in just as a precaution. We can't afford another injury. So I'm thinking optimistic, right? That's what we should be doing, right? Anyways, guys, that's all for me today. The Blue Jays are still sitting on top of the AL least with an... Anyways, that's all for me today, guys. The Blue Jays are sitting on top of the AL East with a 7-5 record. We play the rubber match against Boston, like I said, during the day tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And as always, Go Jays Go!